Hello students and welcome back to bankexamsradar.com. My name is Raman Deep Singh and today we are going to do Negotiable Instrument Acts quiz for SBI CBO 2023-2024 exam. Students, Negotiable Instruments Act is very important for your, for your exam. It's a very important topic. Every year, one or two questions in this particular topic comes to one or two questions, right? My name is Raman Deep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years now. Long time, a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. So which of the following is not a negotiable instrument act according to section 13? Se kya section yaad karne zaruri hai? Yes, it is essential. It is important to remember the number of section. Section number yaad rakhna zaruri hai. Share certificate is not a negotiable instrument for sure. Promissory notes, bill of exchange and checks. These are three kinds of negotiable instruments. What is the meaning of negotiation? When you transfer the ownership, possession and the title of a negotiable instrument. Aap na ki usse check dete ho, uski possession bhi de rahe ho. And the title is also transferred of a check, promissory note or a bill of exchange. That is negotiation. That is negotiation as per section 14 of the act. Difference between endorsement and delivery. <clears throat> See, in case of delivery, you are just handing over the you are handing over the instrument. But endorsement is different. Endorsement is necessary for payable to order. Sometimes, see, if the it's a, a account pay check, or sometimes the order is required. Signature zaruri hai, right? It's, if the instrument is not payable to bearer, to endorsement zaruri hai, right? While delivery is sufficient for instrument payable to bearer, if you have seen a check, obviously they have a bearer check. Hai, if you just give that bearer check to anybody, he can encash that from the bank. So, in that case, endorsement is not required. Uh, in case of uh, instruments payable to order, there is endorsement chahiye, according to section 47 and 48 of Negotiable Instruments Act. What type of endorsements, as per uh, what are the types of endorsements? So why I'm doing this to explain the types of endorsements blank with the full uh, there is blank endorsement and full endorsement uh, in a full endorsement is one where the endorser puts his signature as well as writes the name of the person to whom the order is to be made. Okay, that is a full in the blank one uh, endorser just making his own signature. Conditional obviously as the name suggests, there is a condition where the endorser is negating his own or limiting his own liability apni liability ko limit karta hai. unconditional there is nothing like that restrictive uh, restrictive means the endorser is limiting the further endorsement of the instrument aap usko kisi aur ko aage endorse nahi kar sakte a ne b ko endorse kar diya b ko de diya bill b aage uh, c ko jab de raha hai to usne limit laga diya restrict kar diya restrictive endorsement hai so, उसके बाद सी आगे किसी को नहीं दे सकता है इंडोर्स नहीं कर सकता दैट इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्टिव एंडोर्समेंट प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके हु इज द होल्डर इन ड्यू कॉज एज पर सेक्शन 9 ऑफ द एक्ट हु इज द होल्डर इन ड्यू कॉज एज पर सेक्शन 9 ऑफ द नेगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एक्ट होल्डर इन ड्यू कॉज ही इज अ पर्सन हु होल्ड्स अ नेगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर कंसीडरेशन प्लीज नोट दैट फॉर कंसीडरेशन दैट इज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट before its maturity <coughs> without any notice of any defect in the title three points should be there for consideration he got the negotiable instrument before its maturity without any notice of any defect okay as per section 9 privileges of holder in due cause because see holder in due cause ne honest uh, ek, uh, honest hote hue for a consideration before its maturity I mean, he has no doubt that there is any problem with the negotiable instrument. He got uh, that negotiable instrument, right? Now he has a lot of rights, right? What kind of rights he has? He can sue the instrument in his own name. He can recover uh, money from prior parties. He can hold the instrument free from any defect. Okay. So let's move forward. Let's move forward. What is disowner by non-acceptance as per section 91 of the act? Dishonor kaise ho sakta hai? I mean, dishonor can be there uh, 
if a bill of ex in case of a bill of exchange see uh, a sends a bill to b for acceptance okay b said okay i i'll pay money on this particular date okay and bill goes back here and then on the maturity date a sends bill to b that send me the payment so the dishonor of bill can be uh, by the way when a sent the bill to b if b dishonors that at that point of time that is known as dishonor by non acceptance if b refuses the payment that is dishonor by non payment okay so dishonor by non acceptance means when a bill of exchange is presented for the acceptance and it is not accepted within reasonable time okay that is by non acceptance by non payment as i told you when the uh, the bill of exchange was presented uh, for payment and it was not uh, paid within a reasonable time or in case of uh, you know uh, when a bill of exchange or check is presented for payment it is not uh, and it is returned by bank unpaid in these cases it is dishonor by non payment okay the consequences of dishonor of negotiable instrument act section 138 <laughs> okay very strict law so the holder gives a notice uh, to uh, of dishonor to all the prior parties you give a notice okay you file a suit you file a criminal complaint you can do all of that okay ab sab kar sakte ho ye what are the essential element of a valid notice it should be in case of a dishonor under section as per section 93 to 98 138 wala jo dishonor hai in that case it must be in writing it uh, and signed by the holder must contain all the details of the instrument it must uh, be given within reasonable time after the dishonor dishonor ke baad reasonable time mein ye dena chahiye right what is reasonable time within 30 days what are the modes of discharge of liability of a negotiable instrument by payment by cancellation by material alteration you gave a check a gave a check to b and b made a material alteration what are material alteration change in amount change in date he's trying to he's trying to change the date or the amount that is material alteration so in that case a has no liability on that check so uh, in all these cases cancellation payment or material alteration or merger do instruments ko merge kar diya in these cases the liability is discharged what are the exceptions to the discharge by payment in ke in due course as per section 85 and 86 <coughs> what are the exceptions payment made without protest in case of foreign bills payment made in good faith in case of cross check payment made with grace days in case of uh, instruments payable at a specified place uh, 3 din ka grace diya jata hai uske andar andar okay what are cross check i hope you have seen this in the checks so cross checks have two parallel lines uh, on the face of the check with or without any words okay it makes uh, this check account pay theek hai it's not a bearer check anymore uh, koi bhi ja ke payment nahi le sakta it will the amount will go to the uh, to some account only kisi account mein hi paise jayenge what is the difference between a check and a bill of exchange as per section 6 of the act a check is drawn on the banker theek hai check banker pe draw karte hain and the bill is drawn on another person a check is payable on demand uh, bill of exchange is payable on demand or after a certain time check does not require acceptance bill of exchange requires acceptance what are the types of checks bearer check and order checks are there bearer check means uh, no i mean anybody can go to the branch and in cash that order check kisi koi specific person open and cross checks are there antedated post dated purani date ka future date ka right these are the types of checks are there okay what is the meaning of payment in due course a payment in due course means payment made according to the apparent tenor of the instrument jo instrument mein likha hai 1 month 2 month 3 month 10 days according to that payment made in the good faith without any negligence payment made to the holder or his agent in the possession of the instrument that is payment in due course uh, what are the types of crossings uh, see there is general and a special crossing account pay not negotiable crossing see account pay crossing means uh, the amount is to be paid in an account kisi but no uh, cash payment 
नॉन नेगोशियबल नॉट नेगोशियबल द द इंस्ट्रूमेंट कैन नॉट बी नेगोशिएटेड फर्दर ए ने बी को चेक दिया इट इज़ अ नॉन नेगोशियबल चेक सी कैन नॉट गिव द चेक टू एनी बडी एल्स ओके वट इज़ द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉट नेगोशियबल क्रॉसिंग इट डज नॉट इफेक्ट फर्दर नेगोशिएशन ऑफ द चेक बट प्रोटेक्ट द प्रायर पार्टीज फ्रॉम लाइबिलिटीज सो नॉट नेगोशियबल सी वट हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ अ नॉट नेगोशियबल लास्ट लाइट में थोड़ा गलत हो गया not negotiable means uh c it does not affect the further negotiation b can give the check to c but it protects the prior parties for any further liabilities if b said it is non negotiable b wrote this word not nego sheable uh this word is written on the check that means uh if c further uh, negotiates that bill b has no liability okay the liability is gone there What is bouncing of check uh, as per section 138 when a check is returned by a bank for insufficiency of funds uh, or exceeding arrangement in the account within 6 months from its date or validity period whichever is earlier that is section 138 bouncing of check uh, under section 138 agar bank ne check wapas kar diya hai for insufficiency of balance uh, or check stale nahi hai do conditions then it is a bouncing of check what are the conditions for filing a complaint under section 138 uh the check must have been issued uh, for a discharge of legally enforceable debt jo debt there must be uh, a value aapko check kaise mila there must be a value for that okay the payee or the holder in due course must have given a notice in writing within 30 days from the date of receiving the information from the bank about the dishonor the drawer must have failed to pay the amount of the check within 15 days of receiving the notice within 15 days of receiving the notice the drawer has failed see there is a see the the check is bounced from the bank okay within 30 days of getting the information ki bank check uh, bank mein uske agle bande ke paise nahi hai you need to send the notice and even after getting the notice uh, for 15 days the drawer he fails to pay the money then you can file the case okay what is the limitation period for filing a complaint under section 138 within one month from the date of expiry of 15 day period see uh that's that's a thing now on this date uh, let's say on 1st of jan 1st of january the person he fails to pay the the check has bounced within 30 days by 30th of jan by 30th of jan you need to send a notice a 15 days notice so let's say it's uh, by 14th of feb that is a notice period so uh, by 15 days notice is there so within one month of expiry so after after 14th of feb within one month the party needs to make the case so after, that is a limitation period okay what are hundis hundis are indigenous instruments so uh, parchi jisko bol dete hai right in in desi language indigenous instrument used for financing trade and commerce in india what are promissory notes instruments containing unconditional promise that is not an order promise to pay certain amount of money to a certain person or his order or to the bearer what are the bills of exchange as per section 5 uh, instruments containing unconditional order to pay it's an order it's not a promise uh, to order to pay certain certain sum of money to us to a certain person or his order that is a bill of exchange name of the scheme that provides an alternative mechanism for resolution of disputes related to banking services in india that's banking ombudsman scheme very important it has been there in the previous exam i hope you like the today's class of central uh, of the state bank of india sorry cbo so sbi cbo 2023 course is available on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing video classes the notes the quizzes the test series and also the doubt clearing sessions you can ask your doubts here if there is any doubt in your mind regarding the course uh regarding the subjects or regarding uh, even if you want to talk to the teachers you can just drop a whatsapp message and we are going to answer your doubts okay 
So the list of our successful students, all these students, they are, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. And I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.